When a diver suddenly got swallowed by a whale, he was terrified that he would never make it out alive. Five minutes after the devastating encounter, everyone screamed at what unfolded next. When underwater photographer Rainer Schimpf first saw the whale slowly cruising in the ocean, several feet from him, he thought he was finally about to catch the glimpse of marine life he had always dreamt of. However, in an unexpected twist of fate, the tranquility of the moment shattered. The bride's whale suddenly changed course, swiftly altering its trajectory towards Rainer. As his heart skipped a beat, he froze momentarily, his camera still poised but overwhelmed by the immense jaws that were now opening wide before him. The situation had taken a perilous turn, and Rainer's world swiftly transformed into a heart-stopping chaos. Shock encased Rainer's entire being as he found himself engulfed by the mouth of the whale. Terror surged through him, but he fought against it, knowing that panic would only worsen his situation. Inside the confines of the whale's mouth, he managed to find a small pocket of air and held his breath, praying for a miracle. The putrid stench of rotting fish overwhelmed Rainer's senses, assaulting his nose and making him gag. The slimy walls of the whale's mouth pressed against his body, sticky and wet, making his skin crawl with revulsion. The rhythmic contractions of the whale's throat muscles constricted around him, causing his heart to race even faster. Darkness enveloped him completely, obscuring his vision and leaving him with an eerie sensation of being buried alive. Despite the fear gnawing at his core, Rainer focused his mind and steeled his nerves, determined to stay composed and level-headed against the chaos. Gradually, his eyes adjusted to the dimness within the vast cavernous mouth, revealing the grotesque sight of partially digested fish floating around him. Every second felt like an eternity, and as he desperately clung to that precious pocket of air, he hoped against hope that fate would smile upon him and grant him a second chance at life. His friends were out there in the ocean, waiting for him aboard their tiny boat. They must have seen the whale swallow him whole, and he imagined them panicking as well. He knew they wouldn't hurt the whale to get him out, but he hoped that they would manage to create a diversion that could convince the giant to open its mouth. If it did, he would swim against the current with all his might, fighting for his life. It would be hard and practically impossible, but he would still try. However, if the whale didn't fall for the trick, then he would die in its mouth. And given the fact that its powerful jaws were still tightly shut after what seemed like an eternity, he was starting to believe he'd never see the light of day again. Despite having very rarely heard of whales being very vicious and attacking or killing humans, Rainer was still terrified. The stories were incredibly rare, but not unheard of. Perhaps he would be one of the unlucky few to meet their watery maker thanks to this gigantic whale. He had heard a chilling story from a local fisherman who claimed to have witnessed a horrifying scene where a pod of whales had mercilessly capsized a boat and attacked the crew. Most had made it out alive, although one unfortunate soul was pulled under the water's surface by an enormous whale and drowned in its powerful grip. Rainer couldn't shake off the graphic images that lingered in his mind, intensifying his fear of encountering the creature in the vast ocean. Every time he closed his eyes, the terrifying story played over and over again, fueling his anxiety. However, he knew he had to gather his wits and concentrate on his next move, refusing to succumb to the overwhelming dread that threatened to consume him. Through the watery darkness, Rainer could feel the immense power of the whale. Its colossal form resonated with an overwhelming power pulsating through the encompassing depths of the ocean. As the gentle yet purposeful undulations of its immense body rippled through the water, Rainer's heart trembled with unease. The whale's determined trajectory was leading it further away from the fragile safety of the boat, delving into the uncharted expanse of the vast ocean. An icy grip of terror ensnared him, haunting his thoughts with the devastating possibility of being overcome and submerged beneath the titan's massive weight or drowned in a huge gulp of water, an image that sent shivers down his spine. Minutes felt like hours as Rainer, trembling with fear, used every ounce of courage he possessed to keep his composure. With sheer determination, he managed to contort his body, pulling himself halfway out of the whale's monstrous mouth, thankfully still maintaining his position on the ocean's surface. Desperate for some kind of understanding, he began gently stroking the whale's massive head, hoping to establish a profound connection. 
Astonishingly, a glimmer of hope emerged when the majestic creature locked its inquisitive gaze onto Rainer's eyes, as if recognizing his presence and yearning for a deeper connection. Summoning the audacity of an explorer who had braved uncharted territories, Rainer managed to mutter a cordial greeting to the colossal whale, as if addressing an old acquaintance from a distant expedition. The whale seemed to respond positively, holding its curious gaze as if enchanted by the strange and unusual creature that it had caught within its cavernous maw. Rainer's mind raced, desperately trying to recall every detail about the documentary on whales that had grasped his attention in the past. He vividly remembered learning that these majestic creatures were not only awe-inspiring in their size and beauty, but also renowned for their high levels of intelligence and emotional depth. Whales were known to respond to their surroundings, and Rainer knew that his own reactions would significantly influence the whale's behavior. Sensing the urgency of the moment, he reminded himself that panicking and flailing around would only overstimulate the whale, possibly leading to an unfavorable outcome. Instead, he focused on remaining composed and collected, firmly believing that his own calm demeanor would serve as an invisible guide for the magnificent beast before him. In this tense moment, it was his only shot at establishing a connection with this creature of the deep. One of the strangest things that Rainer noticed was that his camera was still on and attached to his side via a durable strap adorned with intricate patterns. Despite being caught in a harrowing situation, his attention was inexplicably drawn to the glowing power button. With curiosity overpowering anxiety, he reached out and pressed it, watching the screen fade into darkness as the camera obediently switched off. The brief act of conserving the battery, even in the midst of a whale's suffocating embrace, provided an unexpectedly serene moment amidst the chaos. It granted Rainer a much-needed respite, as if he had momentarily regained a semblance of control over his unfamiliar surroundings. Meanwhile, on the small fishing boat, panic reigned supreme as the once calm atmosphere turned into a chaotic scene. Rainer's wife, Silky, a woman with hazel eyes and a heart full of love for her adventurous husband, clasped her hands tightly together in prayer as tears streamed down her face. Beside her stood Heinz, a seasoned photographer with a weathered face adorned with worry lines, his hands trembling in fear. Had they just witnessed the unexpected and shocking death of acclaimed photographer Rainer Schimpf? Would the harrowing sight of his body being swallowed by the whale mark the beginning of a tragic tale of loss at sea? The irony dawned upon them. Would Rainer, known for his breathtaking photography capturing the world's beauty, now be remembered solely for the unfortunate incident of being killed by a whale? It seemed unimaginable that this extraordinary talent and artistic legacy could potentially be overshadowed by such a fateful and horrifying demise. It was something that Heinz and Silky could barely bring themselves to consider. They immediately started trying to come up with a plan to save Rainer, their desperation evident in their frantic discussions. The sheer enormity of the whale made it appear nearly impossible to successfully capture and retrieve the trapped photographer. One daring idea emerged. Could they devise a way to entice the whale to release its captive? The team pondered the notion of using tranquilizers or some sort of mild sedatives to temporarily immobilize the creature, but the risks involved in administering such substances to the massive mammal made it an extremely perilous option. As their hopes dwindled, they realized that throwing food into the water might be their very last shot. They didn't know that this was exactly what Rainer was hoping for as well. The mere prospect of coaxing the whale to open its colossal jaws with the tantalizing aroma of sustenance seemed like a long shot, yet it was the only viable idea they had left. Disheartened, they glanced at the meager food supplies aboard their vessel, realizing it wouldn't be nearly enough to sway the creature's attention. Their minds raced, grasping for any remaining shreds of rescue strategies, but despair and frustration began to take hold, leaving them painfully aware that their well of rescue ideas was almost entirely depleted. Desperation and prayers intermingled in the frantic minds of Silky and Hines, their hearts heavy with the uncertainty of the situation. Overwhelmed by the surreal dilemma unfolding before their eyes, they clung to a sliver of hope, desperately praying for Rainer's safety and silently yearning for him to return to their arms. Would they ever see him again, or were they destined to live with the torment of his loss forever? As the whale continued its journey deeper into the vast expanse of the open ocean, Rainer's mind became increasingly plagued with anxiety. He couldn't help but ponder the daunting possibilities that awaited him. 
What if the whale decided to dive into the abyss of the ocean, submerging for hours on end? The oppressive thought of drowning in those unfathomable depths sent shivers down his spine. Alternatively, contemplating the prospect of being left to drift aimlessly amidst the endless waves, endlessly fighting for survival and enduring a slow, excruciating death was equally harrowing. To his dismay, the situation seemed to offer no favorable outcomes, leaving Rayner in a state of profound despair. Five minutes, an eternity in Rayner's mind passed, and suddenly an inexplicable release granted him his freedom. It felt as though time had slowed down, each second dripping with anticipation and uncertainty. The mighty whale, with a mesmerizing grace, had chosen to release its captive. The immense creature surfaced beside Rayner, its eye meeting his with a profound understanding. A surge of overwhelming emotion swept over him, and at that moment, joy radiated from Rayner like a beacon of light. The boat was still in sight. The whale hadn't swum away after all. With renewed strength, he propelled himself towards the boat, his every movement a testament to his unyielding determination and spirit. His heart was brimming with gratitude and relief, an overpowering sense of awe coursing through his veins. As he neared the boat, Heinz and Silky's screams of astonishment turned into tears of joy, their faces wet with the mixture of relief and overwhelming happiness. They reached out their hands, trembling with excitement, pulling Rayner back onto the boat with an embrace filled with love and elation. The ordeal had tested their faith and resolve, but in that moment, they knew that their bond had grown stronger, anchored in the depths of their shared experience. Relieved, but still in awe of his miraculous escape from the whale's mouth, Rayner carefully scanned his body for any sign of injuries. With each passing second, his astonishment grew as he realized that not a single bruise or scratch marred his once fragile frame. Even his camera was still intact and in working order. It was as if the whale's embrace had been both terrifying and gentle at the same time, as if its immense strength had miraculously preserved every inch of his body. The absence of physical traces left Rayner bewildered, his mind struggling to comprehend the magnitude of the ordeal he had just experienced. But just as Hines started the engine, Silk suddenly pointed to something hidden underwater, and all three passengers looked in that direction for what felt like hours. About 30 feet from their tiny boat was something that made their blood freeze in their veins. A pod of great white sharks was circling the area, without a doubt attracted by the amount of sardines carelessly swimming in the ocean. None of them had noticed the sharks before Rayner's adventurous dive. If he had ended up surrounded by the hungry pod amidst their banquet, he would have been attacked without a doubt. They all knew that sharks don't target humans on purpose, but also that in the frenzy of their hunt, he would have become a simple casualty of their hunger. The passengers fell silent, each of them processing the same crazy thought. Was it possible that the whale had recognized the danger the human was in and had swept in to save the day? After all, Rayner had reported no injuries inside its mouth and had only been trapped for a grand total of five minutes. Perhaps, while Silky and Hines panicked on the surface, the whale had flapped its colossal fins to shoo the sharks away, keeping Rayner safe and sound in its giant embrace and then allowing him to swim back to the boat in all safety. The passengers were too shocked to speak and simply looked at each other in a shocked gaze. Hines finally turned on the engine and the three of them slowly started their journey back to the safety of the mainland. As the boat sailed back towards the shore, Rayner's mind whirled with a mixture of emotions. A sense of accomplishment washed over him, tinged with lingering awe and a touch of trepidation. The extraordinary encounter had forever imprinted itself into his memory, etching intricate details of the majestic creature into the depths of his consciousness. He realized that he had become an unwitting protagonist in a mesmerizing tale, the man who had stared into the mouth of a whale and lived to tell the tale. However, unbeknownst to Rayner, the story was far from over, and the enigmatic whale still had one final surprise lurking beneath the surface, poised to unravel a climax of unimaginable proportions. The whale suddenly resurfaced next to the small fishing boat, its massive head and back towering over the passengers. It peered intently with its soulful, dark eyes, seemingly curious about the humans in its presence. In an awe-inspiring moment, the whale opened its colossal mouth and emitted a hauntingly beautiful song. The melodic sound reverberated through the air, enchanting everyone aboard. 
As the last notes faded into the vast ocean, the majestic creature gracefully dove back beneath the waves, disappearing from sight. Just when they thought the spectacle was over, only a few heart-pounding moments later, the colossal mammal dramatically breached the surface once again. With tremendous force, the whale launched its entire body into the air, defying gravity for a fraction of time. The sheer power and elegance displayed by this creature left the passengers breathless, their mouths agape in amazement. As the whale soared above the boat, droplets of water cascaded through the air, creating a misty veil that shimmered in the sunlight. The majestic creature seemed weightless for a split second, its streamlined body silhouetted against the bright blue sky. Time seemed to stand still as the passengers absorbed every detail, from the sleekness of the whale's skin to the powerful muscles propelling it through the air. As the whale gracefully re-entered the water, its colossal splash sent ripples in all directions, echoing the magnitude of its presence. The passengers felt a profound connection to this magnificent creature, realizing that they were merely visitors in its vast and mysterious domain. The encounter left them humbled and in awe of the immense power and grace of nature. And despite the terrifying ordeal they had endured, they couldn't help but reflect on the importance of preserving and protecting these incredible species, ensuring that future generations can witness the same spellbinding sights and be reminded of the wonders of the natural world. But Rayner was in no doubt that the beautiful and massive whale, with its gentle flicks and spins, was trying to send a message of apology and gratitude. Perhaps it was expressing remorse for the terrifying moment when it had swallowed him with no notice at all, or happiness for his safe return aboard. Or maybe it was simply showing its deep affection and appreciation for Rayner's presence and connection. Despite the uncertainty, one thing remained clear to Rayner. The whale's attempts to communicate were breathtakingly beautiful, transcending language barriers and forging a bond between man and marine mammal. News of Rayner's incredible encounter spread far and wide. His legendary survival was compared to the biblical story of Jonah, igniting both fascination and speculation among people from all walks of life. Rayner humbly accepted these comparisons, cherishing his newfound status as a modern-day hero. His love for the ocean remained unwavering, and even though he had faced a brush with death, Rayner returned to the water within minutes of reaching shore. For him, the magnificent yet dangerous marine creatures that inhabited his beloved ocean were an integral part of his existence, and he would bravely continue his life's mission, capturing the wonders of the deep sea, armed with a newfound appreciation for the delicate dance between humans and the creatures who call the ocean their home. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? Have you ever heard of such an unusual and terrifying encounter with a whale before? And what did you think of the whale's final, breathtaking message to Rayner? What was it trying to communicate with him? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below.